COVID-19 has affected everyone's mental health, but has it taken an additional toll on those with mental health conditions already? Ned Ned Nerb the schizophrenic. I have schizophrenia and my mental health has been affected. In March or May, April 2020, when things were getting heavy with the pandemic restrictions and everyone was freaking out because it was such a massive change. At first, I felt kind of vindicated. I felt like, aha, now all of you see the reason to be mentally unwell, just like I already did. So when the problem didn't go away rapidly and mental health effects started to set in for everyone, I continued to feel kind of relevant, reflected by what was going on around me. Eventually, I started to notice more anxiety symptoms, more chronic pain. I noticed more delusional thinking. I noticed more suicidal ideation. I noticed an increase in fear when I was out in public, fearful paranoia, that sort of thing. One major problem I've observed in people around me is that when the additional stresses all added up, with COVID-19 affecting everybody, problems that were pre-existent couldn't get the same attention anymore. It was harder to get medical appointments, harder to get in-person support that is so valuable. And all those issues combined made it harder for lots of people to get the care they needed. COVID-19 has also affected the money everyone has to spend on food and other therapies that are crucial and essential for well-being. With people laid off work, with businesses drying up, any extra money that was coming in for people with mental health issues might not be coming in after all the changes started to take effect. Another thing which has affected people with mental health issues that pre-existed COVID-19 is that the stigma and treatment of people has, I think, degraded. There are more verbal and physical assaults in public of people who are mentally unwell, as well especially as people who are poor and Asian. They're definitely targeted a lot more right now than anybody else is because of the fear of China, the fear of, the fear of external threats and strangers. Related to that, as everybody's mental health faces an impact, I think everybody's additional stress and lack of tolerance for variation and difference is that everybody is on higher tension, higher stress alert, higher chance of negative, angry outbursts. There's a lot of division and polarization in all of society. Little to mention the anti-vaxxers and anti-maskers who are just ridiculous. Anybody arguing that it doesn't matter that people die and that the hospital systems are overwhelmed has junk in their brain. I have no acceptance of anti-maskers and anti-vaxxers. Get out of here. So that's just a little bit of my... So obviously that just set off a little bit of my anger because I want resolution. I want peace. I want safety. I want health. And I believe in germs. Okay, so count one delusion, gone. I believe in germs. <laughs> okay, peace everyone. Thanks for watching.